Family and fellow officers of Detective Kyle Gilmartin have been coming in and out of Geisinger CMC here in Scranton all day as he remains in critical condition. It shows that the support you get once you put on the badge lasts forever, and it creates a family that for Detective Gil Martin stretches across Pennsylvania. Yeah, best, I just, I, I don't have nothing. It's been an emotional few days for Old Forge Police Chief Jason DeBernis after his friend and fellow officer, Scranton Police Detective Kyle Gil Martin was shot early Thursday morning. It took it to heart. I know Kyle a while. Um, I was actually his FTO when he got hired back here uh, when he first came right out of the academy till the time he left here. Gil Martin is a nine year veteran of the Scranton Police Department, but before he was involved with the city's major crimes unit and auto theft task force, he was just learning the ropes as a part time officer in Old Forge. DeBerna says Gil Martin was eager to help and learn. He, he was unique, you know what I mean? He was very proactive, always learning new uh, tricks of the trade, you know what I mean, for his job. Since the shooting, thousands of dollars have been raised to help with the wounded detective's recovery. A gesture, DeBerna says, speaks volumes about the area. It's just not uh, police departments helping police departments. It's um, the communities. Communities are having all kind of fundraisers to support him and his family. This incident occurs and it just brings the community even closer. Although the two no longer protect and serve the same community, DeBernis knows Gil Martin's recovery is on the minds of many in law enforcement. He works for the city of Scranton, but where did he start? He started here in Old Forge. He worked in some Luzerne County. You know what I mean? So he has ties to the entire Northeast PA, plus the job he did, he has uh, ties throughout the entire uh, state of Pennsylvania and beyond. The support has not only been seen here in northeastern Pennsylvania, but from communities and officers from all over the state, all sending thoughts and prayers to a man who was willing to risk his life to save his community. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, live outside of Geisinger CMC here in Scranton. Jack, thank